slide 40, lesson 2, numbers, cardinals 20 to 99. The Hebrew word for 20 is simply the plural of the word for 10. Now the word for 10 is Esser, and um, the word for 20 is Esrim, Esrim. So here we have the singular form, which means 10, Esa, and the plural, Esrim, means 20. And likewise, or in a, in a similar way, the, the words for 30, 40, 50, etc., all the way to 90, are simply the plural forms of 3, 4, 5, etc., all the way to 9. So for 30, um, we just add an im, uh, and we get, uh, we add im to shalosh, and we get shaloshim, 30. And for 40, we just take arba, and we, which means 4, and we add an im to it, a plural, we make it a plural, and it becomes 40. And uh, chamesh, which means 5, we add an im to it, and it becomes 50. And for 60, we take shish, and we put an im in it, and it becomes shishim, 60. And 70, shiva, and we add an im to it, and it becomes shiva im, 70. And we, for 80, we take shmone, which is uh, 8. And we put an im, and it becomes shmonim, 80. And tesha, 9. We add, add an im to it, it becomes 90, 90 teshim. So these are all the, all the same. This one, esrim, is just a doubling of the word for 10. And these ones are just the plural of the word for 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, becoming 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So that's how we get these numbers here in Hebrew. We just take the, the simple uh, cardinal number uh, and we add a plural to it, masculine plural to it. Now, uh, to, to say 21 or 22 or 23 or 33 or 43 or 44 or 45, we just say... For example, for 21, we just say 20 and 1, and, uh, or 20 and 2, uh, for 22, and so forth. So for example, Esrim ve'echad, Esrim, or, or Esrim ve'echad, Esrim ve'echad, or Esrim ve'echad, and um, they both mean 20. And one twenty one. Another example Isrim Veshanaim. Isrim means twenty, and Shanaim means two, and the Vav here means and. So Isrim Veshanaim. Isrim and Shanaim, or twenty and two. 22. Another example. Arba'im, Arba'im, Ushmone, Ushmone. Arba'im, Ushmone. Now the U and the V, they both mean the same thing. Uh, it means and. It's just sometimes we change the V sound to a U sound, depending on what word it's in front, or what um, uh, various other things. Uh, so Arba'im is 40. Here we have it here, Arba'im. And Shmone is 8. So we get 48, for, literally 40 and 8. And we see that in Joshua 21, 41, if you want to look that up, just as an example. So that's how we... And uh, that's how we uh, count from uh, from twenty 
at uh, 99 vers virtually, uh, we simply add an M to the end to make it 20, 30, 40, 50, etc. And if we want to say 21 or 22, we just say um, the, the plural uh, name for 20 or 30, and we say and 1 or and 2 or and 3, etc. So that's the cardinal numbers from 20 to 99. Slide 41, lesson 2, numbers, cardinals, hundreds and thousands. Okay, first we'll look at the hundreds. And the word for hundred is mia in Hebrew. Mia, mem, aleph, hey. Mia. The word for two hundred is simply the dual. We looked at duals in the uh, earlier, on the first half of the lesson. And uh, it means a, a dual is a pair, and it just ha adds the im at the end of whatever it's pe uh, a pair of. This is a pair of hundreds, so a, a pair of hundreds is 200. Uh, ma time, so mia is 100, and ma time is 200. And uh, 300 is just the word for three plus the word for hundred, uh, me'ot, uh, sort of a plural ending to the uh, feminine noun, 100, or feminine looking noun. So we have shalosh me'ot for 300, 300. And the same for the other numbers all the way to 900. Aba'a me'ot. Chamesh me'ot, shesh me'ot, sheva me'ot, shmonei me'ot, and tesha me'ot. Now I've just said here, this is the feminine construct. It's just this thing here. It's called a construct because it's it's just the feminine number, but it's got a slightly different vowel pointing used to construct other words. Um, so it's a feminine construct plus the feminine plural me'ot. And for the thousands, we have uh, Aleph. That's the first letter of the uh, of the uh, alphabet. Aleph. And Aleph means ox or leader, showing us that leadership is a servant role. An ox is a servant and quite a gentle creature considering its size. An ox has horns, you don't want to mess with them too much, but they're, considering their size, they're lovely and gentle creatures. And um, uh, the aleph is the leader. We have to have someone that's gentle and kind as a leader. That's why we have the Lamb of God that is uh, uh, on the throne. And you don't have a dragon on a throne. Dragons might uh, be great for protecting the throne, if you like, because they're very... Um, cruel against the enemy, uh, but we don't want a dragon on the throne, we want uh, a gentle creature. Uh, anyone can be a tyrant, and indeed tyrannical is related to the word for a dragon. Uh, anyone can be tyrannical, Tyrannosaurus rex, tyrannical, but uh, uh, for a good king, we need someone that's patient and kind. And so we have the Aleph as the leader of the alphabet and of all creation. And the Aleph is Yeshua himself, the Aleph Tav. And by the way, Aleph has a numeric value of 1. And we will see that in the next slide. It's a numeric value of 1. It's the first letter. But it also here means a 1,000. And that reminds us of the scripture that one day, or a 1,000 years are as one day. So we have a mapping of the 7,000 years of this world, or this age, this evil age. Uh, we have 7,000 years mapping to the seven days of creation, and each day is as a 1,000 years. And uh, we see this uh, uh, reflected in the name Aleph for a 1,000, which also just happens to be the name of the first letter of the uh, Aleph bet. It has a numeric value of 1, so we have this 1, 
1,000 relationship here. The, uh, the word for 2,000 is simply the dual, or the, uh, it just means a, a, a pair of alephs. So alephaim is, um, or alpaim is uh, uh, 2,000, or two one thousands, alpaim. And uh, just as in, in the hundreds, we have similar uh, a similar system where we have the, uh, the Hebrew uh, uh, word for three plus uh, the uh, plural for uh, 1,000. So we have 3,000, shilashet alafim. And uh, uh, the same for 4,000, 5,000, all the way to 9,000. It's just the masculine construct. So here it was the feminine construct for the hundreds. Now it's the masculine construct, so we have this tav here. And uh, I haven't given you a table of constructs because um, I want to just mention the main things without getting into too much detail. But you're certainly welcome to have a look at uh, Hebrew grammar books to look into that further. So this is the masculine construct plus the uh, uh, masculine plural of alif, which is alafim. So we have shiloshet alafim, arba'at alafim for 4,000, chamishet alafim for 5,000, shishet alafim for 6,000, shivat alafim for 7,000, shmonat alafim for 8,000, teshat alafim for 9,000. And we also have um, words for tens of thousands. 10,000 is called rivava, uh, related to the word for many or great or multitude. Um, also related to the word rabbi, although Yeshua says, call no man rabbi, there's no one great but God. Um, and there are different opinions on what that means, but I just take that on face value. I'd much rather be called a brother than rabbi. I'd rather be called called someone low than someone high, and um, if Yahweh wants to call me something high, then he can say, come up. And uh, the, t the word for 20,000 is the dual of Rebava, and that's uh, Rebataim, Rebataim, and 30,000 Shalosh Rebot, etc. So you see how it works um, very similarly to this. We have the same system for the 10,000s as well. So I won't let list the entire thing. You, you get the picture. So that's cardinal numbers, hundreds, thousands, and even tens of thousands.